What's up, Diecast Collectors? This is OBB, the Diecast News Guy, bringing you guys with another 2020 NASCAR Diecast review on this YouTube channel. And today it's going to be the second Team Penske driver that I'm going to be talking about. It is on the guy who's actually won two races so far this season, driving the number two Pertec Ford Mustang. We got to talk about Brad Kozowski's 2020 Pertec Ford Mustang for Team Penske, like I just mentioned. This is a beautiful diecast I picked up at 07 Race Collectibles, and I was not thinking about getting this car, because as, as you guys can see, that this car was released with the rest of the Ford Mustang cars that were released. Actually, this is one of the newest releases that we got, if you guys saw my last episode of the Diecast News, but I wasn't planning on getting this, because it does not have the name, the, it does not have the uh, window banner right here, as you can see, but after looking at this paint scheme in person, guys, and Seeing that this was the last one they had in stock at OSA Racing Collectibles, I said, you know what? Might as well get this. And I must say, this is a beautiful looking paint scheme. And I'm looking forward to um, provide you guys a entertaining but detailed diecast review of this beautiful car that Brad Kozowski drove already this season. But let's go ahead and take this car out of the box and let's take a look at the BK Pertec Ford Mustang for Team Penske. Alrighty, guys, we got the diecast out of its box, and this is just a beautiful looking diecast, guys. I mean, this is yet another iconic scallop scheme um, for Brad Kozowski, but a brand new sponsor for Brad Kozowski. I mean, uh, actually, I mean, not really new. Uh, it's kind of like the situation with him and Discount Tire. It's been around for him for quite a while. Uh, Pertex actually been a sponsor uh, for uh, not only and. Uh, for Team Penske, but also for Brad Kozowski's truck racing team that he had, which was known as Brad Kozowski Racing. Um, I do remember Austin Sendrick uh, driving the Pertec truck uh, back in the day, which was really cool. Um, ironically, Pertec has sponsored a lot of Team Penske drivers, including, you know, Brad Kozowski, Ryan Blaney. Um, I don't know if they sponsor Logano yet. I don't think they have, but um, those three that I just mentioned, they all sponsor the Pertec car, which is pretty cool. I'm um, a little disappointed that they didn't make Ryan Blaney's uh, Pertec scheme that he ran at Watkins Glen last year, or his 22 car that he ran at Daytona a few years ago, um, which was for the Xfinity series, because... Um, I don't know, I mean, but I think that's the main reason why I decided to get this, because this paint scheme is pretty much exactly similar to the to the Ryan Blaney scheme that he drove in the Xfinity series, which you guys don't know, I am a huge Ryan Blaney fan, and once again, we got ourselves yet another die cast with the loose window, I mean, like I said again, I mean, I think Lionel, this is Lionel's new feature, we could just make the window start talking, <laughs> uh, but this car, of course, does not have any Miller Lite logos on the car, as you can see, because Miller Lite only sponsors one race, and they're not practically a full-time sponsor anymore, which is a damn shame, so that's uh, something that, unfortunately, has died off for Team Penske, but at least it uh, Miller Lite went out with a bang because you guys know he did won the Coca-Cola 600 race um, which was probably the most boring race that we had in 2020, sadly. Um, and then of course he won also the Bristol race as well which was a very exciting race uh, considering you know his teammate Joey Logano could have had a shot of winning the race but I didn't mind Brad Kozowski winning this race. I mean <laughs> but that Bristol race was quite entertaining. But uh, he did drove this car once already. I don't know if he's going to be driving this car again but he drove this at the second Darlington race. I think he led seven laps in this car which you know not really something to brag about. Ooh, he led seven laps. But he started eighth in this car and finished fourth. So, you know, he had a, he had a pretty good run this Pertec scheme, guys. He did. Um, I really do like this car a lot, guys. I mean, the colors are very vibrant. Um, but it's the traditional scallop scheme that people hate or love. As we got ourselves some noticeable paint chips right there. We got a paint chip right there on the uh, headlight. And a weird black triangle paint chip on the uh, right underneath the headlight. So... Nice job, Lionel. But I will say, I mean, the paint quality on the rims, awesome. I mean, there's no short of, uh, you know, there's no sh uh, that it looks like they did a pretty good, I mean, that, heck, they did a much more better job on the paint quality compared to the Ryan Blaney uh, Jack Link's car that I reviewed. So good job for Lionel on that. Can't really say that about the decals on the back, though. Um, as we got a little bit of a blemish right here. Love the color spoiler. That gives this car a unique touch. And uh, here's the other side, guys. You guys want to see that with the loose window. I mean, Lionel's new feature right there. Gotta love that. Sarcasm intended. And, of course, can't forget the Cup Series logo right there. But, like I mentioned, this car does not have the window banners, which is a shame because I think this diecast would have been 100% complete. I'm not quite sure what the story is on why some diecasts have the window banners or not. Um, but hopefully that does not become a recurring issue otherwise. And uh, we're going to be due for another 
year of bad NASCAR diecast. But this paint scheme definitely reminds me of another car that Brakazowski has driven for quite a while now, and that's his Alliance Truck Parts car. Now, the only diecast I have this car compared to is his car from 2017, so, um, but here's a side-by-side -side comparison for you guys. I mean, if you just switch out, I mean, this paint scheme is pretty much exactly similar. As you can see, the scallops are a little bit different. They, they are no longer on the front of the car. And, of course, the Ford Mustang, I mean, a much more better change that we've had for 2019 and Ford. I mean, don't get me wrong. I don't mind the Ford Fusion, but man, those Mustangs, man, they just look beautiful. And of course, this car um, definitely, I mean, you can definitely see the noticeable difference in the scallops. I mean, this layout's still the same, but so much more color and more vibrancy on the Pertec scheme compared to his Alliance car. But this is the only car I can see that has a noticeable, it looks pretty similar. I mean, I think they use a different shade of yellow on both these cars. I mean, on camera, it definitely looks similar. Um, so, I don't know. I mean, uh, call me crazy. I mean, these cars look pretty much almost exactly alike, but I do like how they added the red uh, outline on the scallops and on the two as well. Um, I, that, that, that two right there definitely is giving that, that yellow number two right there with the red outline. Really giving me some good Rusty Wallace vibes, I can tell you that. I mean, even though it's <laughs> kind of a different uh, color red that and a different color yellow, but, I mean, just color up the scallops and you got yourselves, you know, the Miller Lite draft car right there. <laughs> uh, I mean... That, my god just beautiful though but can't go wrong with this diecast guys i mean this is definitely one i do recommend picking up and this car is also a gold series release because we have the black interiors and the window banners which nascar authentic used to have window banners from 2017 but stopped in 2018 for some odd reason <laughs> but yeah guys um yeah, I mean, like I said, people usually criticize the scallop schemes, but this one right here, we've never had a Pertec 164 released for Team Penske. Uh, we did for Roush Fenner Racing, if you guys remember, Austin Sindri drove a Pertec car, um, that, you know, iconic number 60 that is now cursed and gone forever. Basically, it's a car that not only helped Roush win some championships with, like Carl Edwards and Chris Buescher, but also killed their Xfinity team in general with Chase Briscoe and... Uh, Austin Sindrick, sadly. I mean, my God, that's such a shame, especially me being a Carlos fan. But whatever, though, we had the diecast produced, guys. And um, another fun fact as well, Pertec also sponsored an Indy car as well. If you guys remember the Pertec car that Matthew Brabham drove in the number 61 for Team Murray um, at the 2016 Indy 500. So that's how I first was familiar with the sponsor. And I was like, oh, Pertec now sponsors Penske. That's pretty cool. But this is a beautiful diecast, guys. I, I recommend getting this. If not, um, then probably wait until 2021. But who knows who is going to be driving this car in 2021? Because as you guys know, Brakazowski is under his contract here with Team Penske. A lot of people are speculating that he is not going to be with Team Penske for next year, which is a shame because he's already got two wins and he's been very consistent, guys. I mean, heck, he almost won the Atlanta race today, guys. He was running up there and running well. I mean, Brakazowski, man, has been... Pretty under the radar, radar lately, along with Chase Elliott. Um, but, holy crap, man. This is just a beautiful diecast. I hope he can win this car in victory lane very soon. I mean, I'm not the biggest Brakazowski fan, but his paint schemes are quite iconic and really cool. I mean, not, not as iconic as the Miller Lite scheme, but, you know, we got to move on from those times now. But, but, yeah, feel free to comment below what 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 do you guys think about Brakazowski's uh possible final year with team penske um do you guys think i heard rumors he could take over for jimmy johnson's ride for next year i mean i feel like that's gonna really take some time to get used to but if that's the case guys i mean he can finally fulfill his destiny because if you guys remember he was planning to go to henry motorsports um around 2010 uh <laughs> but mark martin took over that ride instead of kazowski so i mean it it will complete it will come full circle for brad kazowski if that ends up becoming the case uh, as for the guy who's gonna be driving the two car for next year I don't know. I mean, unless they do driver changes, but I got a feeling Austin Sindrick is going to be in Team Penske for next year, whether he's going to be driving the two car and Blaney goes to the... Uh, well, it, I don't know. I feel like Logano's going to keep the 22. Blaney might keep the 12, and Sindrick might go to the two. If not, then maybe Blaney and Sindrick are going to switch numbers or something like that. But whatever the case is, guys, I'm still a big Team Penske fan regardless. Um, but, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this diecast review, guys, as I'm about wrapping up this... Uh, uh, this 2020 Brakazowski Pertec Ford Mustang 14 Penske. If you guys enjoyed this diecast review along with other NASCAR diecast reviews, what the heck are you waiting for? Subscribe today so you guys stay up to date on my latest diecast reviews and many more. But until then, guys, this has been OBB, the diecast news guy. I will catch you guys next time on another 2020 NASCAR diecast review and many more.